Hey everyone, it's Minnie Alexander. And earlier today, I had an interview about my book, A White Man's Whore. You can find this on Amazon. Uh, a Taiki interviewed me on iHustle.org. You guys go there, support him, uh, make a profile. It's super, super easy. Um, my interview will be aired next Sunday. Really good interview, straight to the point. He asked me some really good questions about my book, what inspired me and, and everything. But he asked me a question. And again, you guys, if you guys um, go ahead and make an account and next Sunday at seven o'clock, um, tune in. You'll hear how I answer this question in more detail, but he asked me a question about my TikTok videos and my YouTube videos. He, of course, he watches them. And he asked me, why don't I make relationship videos specifically about black women and black men since I do like to talk about that particular topic? And um, I answered him, but it inspired me. It inspired me. Um, Last night, I was on a dear friend's uh, YouTube live very early in the morning. It was myself and about three other uh, gentlemen on there. And uh, they were asking me personal questions, some of the questions I did not answer. And um, they assumed that I am single. And so these young, or I'm not going to say young black men because I... I don't know any of them personally besides one. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm assuming they were probably in their 30s, maybe mid to late 30s. Um, they were, they assumed that I'm single because that's one of the questions I, I did not, I did not answer. And they started taking shots at me. They asked me how old I was. I, I'm not ashamed of my age. I'm turning 40 next month. And um, yeah, they were talking about, you know, me being 40 years old and, why haven't I chose somebody yet? And again, none of these men know me besides one in my personal life. And the one that knows me, that actually knows my mama, um, see me face to face. We have family and stuff. He was quiet, you know, he, it was his show. So he didn't say anything. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, coming after him. I mean, I'm not even coming after any of them. It was just kind of sad. And uh, that these black men, were trying to take shots at me for being 40 and not married. And I did disclose that I have been married. And they were just still this weird thing. And again, if it was late, if, it, if I was more rested, I probably could have fired back at them. But I'm just like, let me listen to this ignorant, sh ignorant stuff. You know, it was kind of like these black men were devaluing me as a black woman. 40 and not married because I'm not married. And then asking me all these reasons as if I'm broke, if something's wrong with me, you know, and I'm just listening. I'm kicking, I'm just kicking back like, what the hell's wrong? And, and a lot of them, again, I don't know if they're married. Um, I know, uh, again, I know about the, the person that I know in person who's uh, on the show, but again, I'm not gonna tell his business, but I don't even know their marital, marital, marital status and they're around my age as men. And it was just ridiculous as if, you know, it's like they were in this type of um, sheep mindset. They were taught that if you're not, if you're this age and you're not this, then you don't equal up to this, you know? And think about it. People get divorced in every single um, age group besides, you know, if you're super young, of course you can't get married. I mean, people 25 get divorced. 30 get divorced, 40 get divorced, 50 get divorced and have to start all over again if they choose to go back into the dating pool. Does that mean they're losers? No, it means it didn't work and they have to start all over again. You know, me personally, um, when I do meet women who are, you know, 40 plus or whatever, one thing I've known the, dif the difference between them and younger women is older women, they, are more particular about what they want, you know? I remember myself when I was like 18 years old, it wasn't a big deal if a man didn't have a car or a young man did not have a car, you know? Um, it didn't matter if he didn't even have a job. We just kicking it and just seeing where stuff goes. But as I get older, I have more requirements. Yes, I do. And I've also realized I would rather be um, 
by myself than to be with someone that I can't stand. So the ignorance of the men yesterday is um, they're putting value of women that are over a certain age. They're putting value on them because of a piece of paper, not because the woman herself, not because which the knowledge or, or um, even knowing a person that she has dated or been with and knowing how she would treat a man. It's only that you're this age and you're not married. There are people that are married for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, even 50 years that can't stand each other. So, hmm. Rather be in a marriage to satisfy um, ignorant people so they all think you're worth something because you're a certain age. Or be by your dang self and be able to make moves and not have the stress of the headache. Is that, is that hard? Is that a hard, a hard question to answer? So it's just ridiculous. And a lot of black men do this. It's like a lot of black men, they, they're waiting for things to devalue a woman, a black woman. If it's your age, your body type, um, how many babies you have. And it's just, it's just stupid. And the crazy thing about it is when black men do this to women, they don't even know. You know, now again, the platform last night, only person that could really speak about me is the person who knows me personally. Everybody else literally sound ignorant as hell. And I, again, I let them, I let them speak. Um, you know, it's just, it was, it was sad. It was really sad that this continuous cycle, um, about de black men, not all black men, so calm down people, that just devalue women. And they have these weird concepts in their head and they just run with them, you know? I think one even said, uh, when I was talking about, if you, you know, advice I give to women, if they want a serious relationship, to sustain from sex. Don't meet a man and within the first few, few dates, jump in the bed with them. One guy on there is like, oh, that's weird. If a woman does that, she must have some psychological or emotional issues. What? What? Again, single women out here dating men who would talk like that? Huh. My goodness. Good luck to you. Then another guy was asking me about my body type because I wasn't on video. I just had my avatar. Asked me about my backside and other, other body parts. And I'm just like, this is disgusting. This is what's out here in the, in the, the dating pool. Wonder, wonder why uh, many women are deciding to just be by them damn, their damn selves versus putting up with talk like that. Men who haven't even matured. I had to remind them over and over again, I am a grown woman, grown woman. I'm not going to answer questions about my sexual experiences. I'm not going to answer questions about my body parts. Get these young chicks on, on YouTube that are okay with that. I'm not. And I'm not going to have a verbal back and forth with someone to show my value at 40 just because I don't have a legal paper to somebody. One thing I would love to teach women and again, I, I love, I love growing myself. I love being a better person to, to myself, to other people. Um, I would love to put women in a position where they don't feel like, as a single woman, they are being chose. Put themselves in a position where they can choose. It's a wonderful position to be in. So when I run across ignorant people like last night, I don't let them phase me. Because in their mind, they're feeling like I'm sitting here, just someone please choose me, oh my God. I can... <laughs> Versus choosing. Choosing who's best for me and who I am best for also. Because I know myself with all of the growth that I have done and all the things that I have, um, all the knowledge that I have come across when it comes to having a healthy relationship, I know that the energy and the love and the patience and the kindness and the nurturing that I have 
that I have developed inside of myself as a woman. Choosing the right man to give that to will not will also increase his life and make his life a lot better and my life also. So um, getting married women at 40 45 50 60 it's not hard to get married it's about the quality and knowing that you want to be in a union with someone that um you know less stress you're gonna have stress you know but less stress where it kind of both people go together like a puzzle piece that's what you're aiming for for the chemistry don't worry about the age these these men out here trying to make a woman feel small because of her age is ridiculous and it's disgusting. It really is. Well, that's all I have to say. Again, my book, A White Man's Whore. If you don't know what it's about, it's about interracial dating. Go to Amazon, check it out. Subscribe, please. Follow me, uh, like, press the uh, little bell button so you know when I, when I drop something new. And I would love to hear um, people's comments about women who are not married in their 40s in our black community. You know, are they less desired? Are they, do they have mental illness? I want to hear people's opinion. Take care till next time.